Let's imagine that this black coffee is delivered. It's represented as black because it's unenhanced. If there's a tumor coming from elsewhere in the body and hides within the unenhanced liver, it will be very difficult to spot. Just like this chocolate dropped into the coffee. In order for us to see this chocolate hiding in the coffee, we can do two things. First, we can make the coffee much brighter than the chocolate. Or second, we can make the chocolate much brighter than the coffee. For today, let's talk about the first way. Making the coffee much brighter than the chocolate. And the chocolate will represent metastasis. In order to make the liver bright, we will inject contrast into a peripheral vein. The contrast will then travel in the blood and reach the liver via two ways, through a minor flow and a major flow. Since we want the liver very bright and enhanced, let's think about the major inflow. The major inflow is via the main portal vein. It supplies three-fourths of the liver blood supply. Let's now trace how the contrast gets into the portal vein. Let's start here with the injection of contrast into a peripheral vein in the arm. It travels to the heart and from the heart to the lungs, from the lungs back to the heart, and from the heart to the aorta. Blood then goes to the gastrointestinal system, then to the portal vein, and then the liver. So you can see here, that the contrast went to a lot of places before it reached the main portal vein. If we wait for 60 seconds after the injection of contrast, we can catch the liver at a time that the contrast is already in the portal vein and in the liver. Therefore, this is the time when the liver is really, really bright. Going back to our analogy, if the black coffee is the unenhanced liver, we can add a large tablespoon of creamer to represent the liver receiving three-fourths of its blood supply, making it very bright. This is what we call the portal venous phase. A plain scan plus a portal venous scan is what's included in the usual contrast CT of the abdomen. Now if there was a metastasis hiding in the liver here, um, where will we be able to better spot the lesion? Is it during the plain scan or the portal venous scan? Most kinds of metastasis, since they come from elsewhere in the body, show less vascular supply compared to the liver. Hence, they are called hypovascular. Taking a closer look at this scan, during the portal venous phase, we can note that the portal vein is enhanced and the liver parenchyma is also enhanced. Now because the liver is bright, the hypovascular or dark lesion now stands out. There is enhancement within the periphery of the lesion but the darker central portion are, is really obvious making it really easy to spot. So allow me to repeat, most kinds of metastasis since they come from elsewhere in the body show less vascular supply and hence are called hypovascular metastasis. Hypovascular metastasis are best seen in the portal venous phase when the liver is maximally enhanced. What kinds of metastasis tend to be hypovascular? We have colon cancer, breast cancer, and lung cancer. So in summary, in looking for metastasis hiding in the liver, we can make the liver brighter than the metastasis. This is done by taking a picture of the liver during the time when the liver is receiving the bulk of its blood supply coming from the portal vein. And this is called the portal venous phase. And it's most useful for spotting the majority of hepatic metastasis. So that's it for hypovascular metastasis. Next time, we will talk about hypervascular metastasis. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you next time.